Today I'm going to show you how you can create this really cool stacking card effect in Webflow. And the great thing about it is that it requires no interactions, it is super simple to set up and it looks great on almost any website. So let's get started. Right here I have prepared a super basic uh, Webflow project and if we look at the navigator it only has uh, two sections. The first section is called description, this is the section where the text is in. And then the second section is called section stack. And inside of the container of this section stack, I'm going to create the stacking card component. But you can also use your own structure, your own setup. Uh, I just wanted to show this to you that you know where I'm starting from. So inside of the container, I'm going to create a div block and I'm going to give it the class of stack underscore wrapper. Inside of this stack wrapper, I'm going to add another div block and give it a class of stack underscore, uh, stack with CK underscore card. And then I'm going to give the card a background color of yellow and a border radius of one rem. And I'm also going to copy and paste the card three times. So now we have four cards in total. If we look at the setup, you can see we have the stack wrapper and the four cards as child elements of the stack wrapper. This is the basic structure. Next up, I'm going to click on the stack wrapper again and set the layout to flex and then the flex direction to vertical. At first glance, it looks like nothing has changed. It looks exactly like before, but now with this flex setup, we can add a so-called row gap between the individual rows, in this case, our individual cards, so that we can have a little bit of spacing in between there. I'm going to add a row gap of five rem. And now we have spacing between the cards. And while we are at it, I'm also going to select the card again and set a size of uh, a height, a fixed height of 25 rem. Let's preview this. If we scroll down the page, we can see all of the four cards below each other. To enable the stacking functionality, to activate the stacking behavior, we have to select the card again, then go to the position setting and set the position to sticky and then set a top distance. In my case, I'm going to choose a top distance of five rem, but you can choose your own value here, obviously. And now when we scroll down the page with this position sticky setup, our cards will stick to the top with a distance of five rem. This is what the position sticky does. Let's preview this again. I'm going to scroll down the page and now the first card starts stacking. Now the second one, now the third one, and now the last one. Frankly, it's quite hard to see the stacking behavior right now because all of the cards have the same background color. Let's change that. I go to the second card and give it a combo class of is2 so that we can style the second card individually. Um, I'm going to give it a background color of orange then go to the third card. It will receive a combo class of is three, a background color of light blue. Obviously you would choose your own background colors. And the last card will receive a combo class of is four and receive a background color of dark blue. And now if we preview this again, I think it is pretty obvious that the stacking behavior is taking place. The cards are now stacking nicely on top of each other. This is the very basic setup and you could use it like that on your website, but I personally like to enhance this a little bit. If we scroll down the page and, the, uh, and look at the stacking behavior, we can see that the cards are stacking, but they are stacking exactly on top of each other. If we look at the final version of this stacking component, you can see that the cards, yes, they are stacking on top of each other, but they are stacking with this slight stacking offset. So there's a distance between the individual cards right here. And to enable this stacking offset, we first of all have to make a decision. We have to decide 
how much or how large this uh, stacking offset should be. You can choose any value that you want, um, depending on the visual effect that you want to achieve. You could choose 50 pixels, you could choose 10%. Uh, the important thing is just that when you choose a value, you have to remember it. In my case, I've decided I want to go with a stacking offset of 3 rem. And that's why for the sake of this tutorial, so that I can remember it and don't forget it, I put it into the page title right here. So this is going to be our stacking offset and we have to remember this value. And now that I've made the decision with the 3 rem as an offset value, I can go to my second card. It's important we start with the second card. The first one stays untouched. And for the second card, I'm going to go to the position uh, section again. And I'm going to add 3 rem, so the offset value, to the top distance. So in this case, 5 plus 3 is 8. So the new top distance is 8 rem. And let's do the same for the third card. In this case, 8 plus 3 is 11. So the new top distance is 11 rem. And the fourth card, the last card, 11 rem plus 3 rem is 14 rem. So the top distance for the last card um, is going to be 14 rem. Let's preview it. And now you can see that the stacking behavior is taking place. It's fully functional, but now we have this nice stacking offset and we can actually see the cards uh, stacked behind, behind each other. In fact, a lot of people uh, use this stacking card effect just like this on their website or client project. And I think it, this is fine. Uh, this is not a bad decision because it already looks very good. But I personally like to add one more functionality or one more effect to this stacking card uh, component. And this is what I'm going to show you now. As you can see right here, the cards are stacking just like we want them to stack. But when the last card comes into view, it kind of collects all of the other cards removes the stacking offset and then the the card stack scrolls out as one single card and i personally don't like that if we go to the final version of the project you can see that when we scroll down the page our cards are stacking with the stacking offset but now when they scroll out of view they stay in the stacked state so they keep their stacking offset and it is not removed by this last card or by the end of the section. And the reason this is happening in our current setup has something to do with how position sticky works. I'm not going to go into the exact detail today because I just want to show you how this uh, card stacking setup works. But if you're interested in a more detailed explanation on how position sticky works in Webflow, then subscribe to this YouTube channel because this is going to be one of the next videos. But today I'm just going to show you how you can set it up. So to enable this uh, exact same functionality like in the final version, we have to start from the end. So this time we have to start from the, uh, with the last card. You have to select the last card and then you have to give it a spacing of margin bottom zero rem. And then you have to uh, select the second to last or the second card from the end and give it a margin bottom of three rem. So we add our offset value. And that's why it's so important to remember the offset value because it is also required for this functionality. Then uh, we go to the third card from the end and add three to the margin bottom again. So this time three plus three is six rem. And then we select the fourth card from the end, which is the first one, and add three again. So six plus three is nine, and we give it a margin bottom of nine rem. And now we can preview this, scroll down the page, and you can see that the cards are nicely stacking with our stacking offset. But now when they scroll out of view, they stay in this stacked state and don't collapse or don't lose their stacking offset. And I just think this looks really cool. And this is one of my favorite Webflow, uh, Webflow effects.
And obviously the next step that you would have to take is you can now fill all of the cards with some content. As you can see, in my case, I put some images inside of here, but you can also put text inside of the cards. You can put testimonials, links, uh, whatever you want, you can put as content inside of these cards. And uh, I'm also going to put the, the link to the clonable of the final version of this stacking card component into the video description. So you can clone it inside your own Webflow account and see how I built this final version. And you can also copy it and use it in your own uh, Webflow projects. And if you need someone to help you with your Webflow development, then go to my website, mikepecha.com and contact me. Have a nice day. Bye.